What, what would be your first question to Wilbur Ross? So is this enough? Um, look, this was in some sense signaled at the meeting between Xi and Trump that there was going to be some set of things on a relatively narrow set of products. It's good in the context of, of that context. But I, the real question is, does that really meet his objectives? Frankly, it's, these are all good things, but they're small things. They're not going to dramatically change the U.S. relationship with China. Jean Marisan, it's the good news for investors, not what's in the deal, but just the direction of travel here from the administration. And if you were long Guillaume, doesn't this latest agreement just validate that move as well? I absolutely agree. The direction of travel is that, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, policies are not going to disrupt massively uh, trade environment uh, if we uh, uh, look at this, uh, this agreement. It doesn't really change things dramatically, but it means that everything which is economically related will actually come to the fore and will be much more important for investors than any kind of uh, disruptions that might come from uh, political discussions and disruptions. Lou, talking of uh, political discussions and disruptions, the G7s in Italy, and I find this fascinating, they're not talking about trade because they can't agree ab about it anymore. So what's the story for the G7 and that kind of uh, institution-type group as they meet and have conversations and a little bit of chit-chat, and then the, the deals that are being cracked with uh, China, US, one-on-one, -on -one, how does that work out? So, first of all, I'm sure they are talking about trade sort of behind the scenes. It's just not going to be in the <laughs> communique because they, can't, <laughs> because they can't agree on it. Look, I think in terms of broader macro coordination, this is a relatively good moment. The U.S. is doing okay. Europe's obviously doing better. Japan's doing better. So in some sense, they don't have big issues there. Look, ultimately, they want to try and get Trump to continue to behave in a way where the U.S. is part of that system, and that's their overarching objective at this point.